as a tool to quit smoking. E-cigarettes are proving their worth. A recent study finding in one year alone, they helped more than 50,000 smokers in England give up. I was smoking 20 a day, sometimes more at the weekends, and um, but no, I've not had a cigarette since. Uh, yeah, it's hard like nicotine patches and stuff like that, but that stuff never really worked for me. It always made me feel a bit sick, whereas vaping was always a, a, a good alternative for me because it was similar to smoking, but not actually smoking. I smoke roll-ups, um, so anywhere between 10 and 20 a day, um, and I've been vaping pretty much for six years now, so it definitely helped me. It's an urgent warning from health officials across the country. But a spate of deaths and lung injuries in the United States linked to vaping has understandably fueled safety concerns. What exactly is making people sick or even dying? And surveys of UK smokers appear to show a growing wariness about using e-cigarettes to quit. We are seeing a little bit of an uptick in uh, the proportion of smokers who are using nothing to stop smoking, and that's the least effective thing you can do. Um, so we would be concerned if smokers um, are deterred from using these products because it means they're just going to carry on smoking. In the UK, there are much stricter controls over vape liquid manufacturers, like this one in Swansea. And almost all the cases in America involved vaping a cannabis compound and an oil known to be dangerous when inhaled, both of which are banned here. The manufacturing process is, re is highly regulated, the ingredients that we use are regulated, um, and also all of the toxicology reports that need to be done for these liquids have to be all registered with the uh, medicines regulator, the MHRA here in this country. That's very different than the US. E-cigarettes can still contain small amounts of harmful chemicals, which is why the official advice remains, if you don't smoke, don't vape. But for smokers, it's the relative risk that's key. Nothing is safe. There are no free rides in life, but electronic cigarettes are substantially less harmful than smoking tobacco. So for the smoker, it is a no-brainer. You should switch to vaping as soon as you can. Using e-cigarettes may not be risk-free, but smoking is so uniquely deadly that no one should be put off vaping if it helps them quit tobacco. Catherine Jones, 5 News.